is Eric Christensen, owner of Chandler Physical Therapy. Today, I want to talk to you all about the inhibitory interneuron and what that is and why you should even care and whether that's important to you. So in a general overview sense, when we look at how the body learns, moves, and reacts, input drives output, or what we call is that performance drives perception. Okay, so anytime we get a cue from our external environment, whether that's touch, smell, taste, anything like that, it drives an output. It drives a signal to the brain and it drives a signal to the body to create a certain reaction. And when we're looking at, especially in physical therapy, the pain response, you have input, whether that's externally inflicted like a car accident or internally like a muscle strain and maybe a movement pattern that leads to uh, an input, which is pain. That pain goes to the spinal cord. And then that spinal cord shoots a, a signal up to the body or the, I'm sorry, to the brain that says, hey, this hurts. And in turn, at reflex level, it hits a motor neuron and creates a motor response, which is usually to pull your way from that pain to tense up to try and protect yourself against that pain. So let me pull up a screen here really quick. Alrighty. So if we look at this picture, this is a very basic picture, and we have the spinal cord is this kind of oblong um, grayish brown thing. And basically what you're doing is looking at it from top down. If someone were to take your spinal cord, create a cut across it, and you're looking straight down at the top of that cut, that's what you're seeing. And basically here is what we call your sensory neuron. Um, as it comes in, that is your input. We have this inner neuron, this kind of brownish one, and then we have our motor neuron, which is our output. So anytime we get sensation in, there's an inner neuron before it goes to the output. And the reason for this inner neuron is that that's how we learn within our body. Okay, and I guess I did not share that screen. Hold on one second. There we go. Let's try that. So here's that off grayish brown thing. Okay, and that's your spinal cord cut across the top, and then it's going to go down. Okay, you have the red input here, the black output, and the brown interneuron. The important thing with that interneuron is that we don't need to respond to every single stimulus that comes into our body. Our body learns what's important and what's not. An example of that is say you're working and somebody outside your window starts a jackhammer. Initially, that stimulus is very irritating, but the longer it goes on, your body learns that it's not important and it'll start blocking out. Pretty soon, you don't even notice it's there until it stops. And it's the absence, that change in stimulus that creates the awareness again. So for general things like, oh, the wind's blowing or the sun's shining on me, it could be important, but a lot of times we don't need to process that information. And so what happens is if that the stimulus our body learns is not enough, it won't trigger the inner neuron to create a fire in to create a firing, to create a motor response or a pain response or some sort of response to the brain. We, it'll go undetected and we won't even notice it. When it comes to pain, we can utilize that inhibitory inner neuron to our advantage. And what we can do is as physical therapists, we can introduce certain levels of stimulus to stimulate the body in a new or novel approach, but not enough to stimulate that inner neuron. And what we can do is actually then train it to be less reactive, just like the alarm system in your home. If it's really, really sensitive, the alarm goes off over everything. However, if we can train it, then we can say, okay, at this threshold, it should go off and this is appropriate. At this threshold, that is inappropriate to go off and we shouldn't fire. And we could do that through repetitive stimulation, through repeated exposure to activities. Dry needling can do that. It's all a new input into the system to create a new output to learn from. And that's 90% of what physical therapy is in my world is basically taking someone who is injured and maybe that nervous system is hypersensitive um, to change, creating a change that allows them to reestablish a threshold to utilize that inhibitory inner neuron to not fire, to not trigger response. And therefore we get less pain, we get less muscle guarding, we get less altered movement patterns as a result and we get back to life in general. So obviously, if you guys have any questions, we would love to answer. Um, as you probably well know, we do have free discovery visits. Um, the number's down here. If you want to give us a call, we can set it up. That's a half hour one-on-one -on -one of just chatting with a physical therapist to say, hey, is this the place for me? If so, how are you going to help me? And if we aren't the people to do it, we can definitely get you hooked up with the people who we can get you going down the right path to, to healing. 
Um, if you have any other questions, you can always connect with us on social media. We're at Chandler Physical Therapy pretty much everywhere. And I look forward to catching you guys on the next round.